Good morning everybody. This morning we're going to go for a little walk around the back streets in what's called the Heritage Quarter at Fleetwood. So we're on the promenade at the moment and as you can see we're next to the RNLI and Coast Guard building which is right on the seafront. If you've never been in the shop you need to go in the shop when it's open again. Brilliant, got a really good range of stuff. That's the Blackpool and the File College training facility for boat launching. Obviously that's the channel for the River Wire and that in the sea in the distance is Wire Light right in the centre of shot. It's got a bit of a lean. Nobody wants to admit ownership because nobody wants the job of either rescuing or salvaging it. So it's a bit of a dreary morning this morning so rather than doing one of the lovely pretty seaside bits of Fleetwood. But we'll go for a nosy. We'll go for a nosy around the back roads. Making sure we don't get knocked down. always confuses me when I'm driving down here. I have to really study the I have to really study the lines of the road to make sure I'm going the right way. <laughs> right so this is Euston Gardens and the lovely park. In fact I'll tell you what we'll go this way. We'll come back one day and do do the park on a on a sunnier day but while it's quiet we'll we'll cut through and have a we'll have a look at Sir Peter. So Sir Peter Hesketh, this guy in front of us, was the man who was responsible for much of Fleetwood. He planned the town out and laid out all the streets and was responsible for much of its fortunes, 1801 to 1866. And the plank, plank, plaque at the bottom says, on my own land and on my own, on my own land, on my own warren, on my own warren by the banks of the stream. Out of this wasteland will rise up in glory, a shining new town, the whole of my dreams. Sorry, the town of my dreams. That's lovely. So that's Sir Peter. And we'll we'll come back and have another look at you on a better day. You can tell it's been dry for so long. Look how dry the grass is. It's a lovely park. Been re relayed recently. So that's the Euston Hotel. It's called the North Euston because it is the Euston of the North. Because that's where the trains stopped when people came on excursions to the Lake District, they would come by train to Fleetwood and they would stop at the North Euston Hotel and then they caught steamers, steamer boats to the Lake District. Just imagine that. I've been as sick as a dog. I just wouldn't have gone. I mean, you can only think that they were so intrigued by this new fangled method of transport that uh, the journey was worth it. So this is up Alone Street and now we're heading round the back of Fleetwood Bowling Club, which is that, at the back of the wall. And you can see the top of Upper Lighthouse straight in front of us. And this is a lovely little bit of Fleetwood. Really attractive. Strange seeing it all so quiet. It's usually people around and life and all that. 
On Heritage Open Days, they do trips up to the top of the other lighthouse, up to the top of Lower Lighthouse. I don't know that they've ever done trips up this one. But it's a right climb up there. Just look how tall it is. I mean, I know it's got to be, it's lighthouse. But it's a long way up there. Goodness. I'd be all right going up there. Can you imagine me on that railing? I'd be throwing myself off. Terrible with heights. It just makes me want to jump. Which is what I tried to say on that video at um, Bispen at the cliffs last week. And you couldn't hear the word for the noise of the wind. So you can see all the, the overhead tram lines here. Um, <clears throat> I don't think this is part of the... Or is this where it doubles back? I think this is where it doubles back and round, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the back of the heritage side of town. So you can see that there's these, um, almost like a tent. Surely somebody's not been stopping anywhere. Goodness me. Could only wonder, can't you? So this is where the old fishermen's cottages are. Really pretty. Really pretty corner of town. The little back streets, you can just imagine them, can't you, when they were mending the nets and women sat outside talking to one another and Peeling prawns and whatever it is that they did. Must have been a really difficult time to live through the Industrial Revolution. Must have been really, really tough. My grandma was born in 1913 and obviously coming from where we came from we were all miners which is you know the, the sort of inland equivalent of fishing. Difficult, dangerous, hard manual labour and a really tough life. But it's our history, it's how how the world evolved. There's not really much getting away from it, is there? Right, we'll go down here and have a nose and see what they're doing at the market. Oh, I can smell tarmac. I love tarmac. Just to hope he's going to leave his uh, whacker plate off a minute while we walk past because it's going to be very noisy if he's not. <laughs> this is Custom House Car Park, I believe. So this is a useful one when you're visiting this end of the town centre and um, the market. Look at this seagull. The lid looks like it's broken off this bin and it's systematically empty in it. Do you know they're so clever? They've got brains like, well, like I don't know what. Which is fine until you're picking up after him. It's like they've been redoing the double yellow lines here as well. So this is the back of the old market hall. Obviously, these are the doors always back in again, listen. And this is the back of Fleetwood Museum. So if you've been to the museum and you've been in and you've seen Harriet, which is the boat that they keep in the shed at the back, that's the back of the shed. And one of the things, one of their ambitions is to open access from this side. Number one, to make it more obvious and more accessible. But number two, to make a uh, disabled provision. Because it's such an old building, there's no disabled access at the front, which is a terrible shame in the town. So that's a very quiet, another very quiet street. Worrying about 
seen on video. has been renovated with the aim of developing a new creative hub. A number of spaces will be available to hire from small meeting rooms and studios to larger areas which can be used for workshops, training courses, exhibitions and collaborative work. The new spaces can be hired for short sessions or longer periods of time for uh, touchdown work projects or ongoing activity. Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Let's cut through it. Go through it and have a nose in, see what they're doing. So obviously this is fitting them out. Oh, they're a bit like garages, aren't they? That's clever. They've got a sink in and whatnot. Mm, good idea. I suppose they're like a modern version of them, aren't they? The old you need. So that makes it into like a courtyard and then they'll be able to put stalls in the middle. And it'll also give them some protection from the wind and the weather. Good idea that. And if they've got a brain, they'll put a gate across there as well. Keep everybody out when it's shut. Right. And this is the back entrance, round the back of the market. And then on the other side of this alley, we're back onto Docks Road. And that's the market entrance that you're probably more familiar with and you can see as well down there there's the clock and St Peter's Church that's the clock that's usually got the display of flowers on it and then here we're back onto the sea front at Dock Street and then you'll know when new videos are uploaded and have a nice day.